Hi guys, welcome to this powerful video with Apostle Michael Robo. This particular video was carefully selected and edited to improve your knowledge on spiritual things and draw you closer to God. Don't forget to like this video, share with loved ones and family, and subscribe. Stay tuned. Speaking an English, good English, you can break those powers. It is the spirit that raised up Jesus from the dead that has the power to invade the cell structure and reprogram and re-engineer that person. That's why we don't move until he moves. Even God waits for the Holy Ghost to move. He said the spirit moved upon the face of the deep before God said, let there be light. The spirit has not moved. You are talking. You are joking. We are weak without the Holy Ghost. Our God dimension is the Holy Ghost that animates it. That's why we tarry. That's why we wait. That by all means, the sequence of life will be activated. The first thing that empowerment ministry does is to make you a witness. You have been speaking things they have not come to pass. I tell you the reason tonight. The Holy Ghost is not working. You are the one walking. That's why you sweat. Nothing happens. When the Holy Ghost begins to walk, you can now glorify God. The second operation of the empowerment ministry of the Holy Ghost is to prosper you in kingdom engagement. Have you seen people who died of high BP serving God? They are the ones laboring with the design of the flyer. They are the ones calling the people, printing it. They are the ones following up for it to be distributed. They, they can't rest. Because you can't prosper in kingdom enterprise until the Holy Ghost goes ahead of you. I told you my story. When God says to come to Abuja, before he gave me the instruction, he led me. Do I use the word, lead me now? <laughs> because if I knew, I would have done some savings. He led me to scatter all my seed. And then he gave me instruction, come to Abuja. Where? You are not sending me to Gombe. Where all I need is to come and start praying for people to gather. Do you know what Abuja is like? Where everybody is pursuing survivor. How can you tell me to come here now? You want to rent a hall. Sometimes they tell you one million per use. One million naira per hour. What is that? <laughs> Up at the inaugural service, we were trying to say, okay, wait. I say, I will pay. Relax. Until that morning, I was invited to minister somewhere. I came and preached. The people couldn't sit down. One person gave me a check of one million. He said, I've not heard it like this before. Before I knew what was happening, God's servant stood up and said, let's give an offering. They, I left there with 40 million. What's going on here? Before I knew what was happening, we said, oh, we are looking for a way to get network. The person they hired to set up the network. The guy traveled to Lagos. He couldn't sleep. He came back and said, no, I will, I will install it for free. I will install it. I let me go and sleep. I, I, I can't sleep. I can't sleep. <laughs> Until the spirit be poured upon us from on high, then the wilderness can become a fruitful field. And the fruitful field can be home of forest. That's why Jesus didn't run into the city. The Bible said he was endued with power from on high. He said he returned. Luke 4 14. In the power of the spirit, it was the spirit that spread his fame abroad. It was not be bought. The spirit spread his fame abroad. Everybody began to talk about Jesus of Nazareth. When you read the synoptic gospel, many times you will hear, and they said, it's not his disciples that spread his name. There were some people that the Holy Ghost inspired. They will say, have you heard of this man? Have you heard of this? They will not rest. You cannot prosper in kingdom enterprise until the empowerment ministry of the Holy Ghost is activated. Many people are dying trying to please God or trying to do the work of God. Sir, rest. For those of you who work in the power ministry, you know how it works. If you want to use your faith all the time to pray for the sick, you know sometimes you struggle. But when God begins to give word of knowledge, pop, somebody is here, left ear. As you are saying it, the ear is open. You don't need to shout. Pop, somebody is here, fibro, it's gone. If the spirit alters it, it's gone. The same way you operate in word of knowledge in the service, that's how you operate kingdom business. 
you rest in his presence if it, the time comes he tells you call this person and you call the person you are talking one thing leads to the other you say ah we are trying to do this ah really something happened a call is made to another person another person makes a call to another person you are sitting where you are sitting things are working so for you to activate the dimension of the empowerment that prospers you is to rest in the presence we have no culture of resting we are in anxiety trying to make things work that's why nothing works the bible said a great while in the morning mark 1 35 jesus went to a solitary place dear he prayed he just stays with the father go to the market and he comes down from the mountain he goes to the market he opens blind eye you now say okay when you start ministry start from the market you will die because the next day as he comes down he goes straight to the synagogue another time as he comes down he finishes a crusade where you think he should rest he is going back to seek the holy ghost because if he misses him for a second he's in trouble and jesus will finish a mighty power meeting that you think he should go and rest he said let's cross over to the other side and as he's crossing over he will join the god of the sea and then he will go and heal the gathering maniac and come back immediately because it's the spirit that calls the shots stop relying on your brain it's too small for kingdom business stop relying on your intelligence I know you studied aeronautic engineering I know you are a barrister I know you studied medicine and surgery and in, in medicine you studied the heart you studied the brain there are only five of you in Nigeria God bless you but if it's kingdom your brain is too tiny he says it's not given to man that walketh to order his step before you step out of the house wait wait when the instructions come you become invincible it's called the empowerment ministry of the Holy Ghost the first one is by baptism the second one is by waiting for the instructions to come you wait for the instructions to come this is why many are struggling and they are struggling for God it ought not to be so the third thing this empowerment ministry does for you is that it causes you to prevail against contrary forces because this kingdom business they are opposition don't think pray preaching is english english language or giving is charity giving is beyond charity if you are not empowered if the devil sees that you want to give he will cripple your finances because he knows that your money is causing havoc in the demonic realm so as you start giving say kai because he knows the money of this man is not going to erecting clubs and beer palace his church is building so if we don't cripple his finances we cannot survive so giving is not charity it's warfare preaching is not intelligence it's warfare they are contrary forces this is why the holy ghost comes to empower you so that when the contrary forces come they will count for nothing acts 10 38 how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing philanthropy healing all that were oppressed of the devil nothing you do in this kingdom is without warfare that's why you need to have the empowerment of the Holy Ghost because when the princes see you they will come for you meanwhile you cannot but do good he said be steadfast always abounding in good works the reason is because your reward in eternity is not based on your salvation your reward in eternity is based on your service to God that's why you cannot but do good and if the devil will fight you for doing good then you need to be empowered so that the battle of the devil will count for nothing in Acts 4 31 and 33 the Bible said that with great power he gave witness to the resurrection of Jesus great grace was upon them and in verse 34 the Bible said they that were possessors of lands sold them and brought the money to the apostles feet and he said distributions were made and there was none among them that lacked 
Now, this prosperity came after they were beaten and warned never to preach in the name of God. But when the empowerment come, it turned the actions of the adversary to nothing. The reason we cry for empowerment is because we know that when we go out there, there are many wolves. But when we are empowered, what the devil meant for evil, we become the very platform that glorifies God. So when the devil wants to truncate what God is doing, that thing turns around to become a testimony. I heard about Benson in Dahosa. The first time a crusade was organized in Nigeria that sat one million people. The president said, nobody should organize an outdoor meeting. It looked like an adversary. But the man went back to God. And the Holy Ghost said, go forward. And he did not just go forward. He brought Renhard Bonke. And when they organized the crusade, one million people gathered. And there was nothing the government can do. Because a man of power had shown up. I heard Bishop Dahawad Mees told the story of Renhard Bonke. He organized a crusade in Nigeria. And when they were done winning millions of souls, he said he was in the hotel room. A butcher came and knocked that night and gave him a seed. You are advancing kingdom. The one that should be your enemy is now coming to give you a seed. Because when the ways of a man pleases God, he commands his enemies to be at peace with him. There is something the Holy Ghost does that makes your enemies becomes the ones that facilitate what God wants to do with you. Have you not been there before? You are struggling with influence and publicity and suddenly the devil tells people to speak against you and the Holy Ghost allows that thing to prosper and when it prospered everybody that heard about you and came to confirm the story begins to have encounter. So the devil used what should have been for evil to become your good. It's the empowerment ministry of the Holy Ghost. He makes a man invincible. Somebody gave me a testimony last week. A trained engineer, master's degree in IT, and then he was recruited as an IT personnel, served in the civil service for many years. All his mates have been raised. They've gone up to the second, third, third cadre in the national office he has remained where he was when they employed him and some of his mates that are now bosses try to frustrate him until power came on him the first day i met him i heard him he couldn't stand he didn't know what was happening to him he sat down ah what's happening here he's not a very emotional person he what's going on he stood up like a man come on what is happening here he took some steps what is that? They heard him. He sat down here at 11 p.m. Even at 11, he had not gathered himself. They had to help him home. He was coming, coming. Another day, I walked up to him and released him partition. Two weeks later, what he was fighting for for years, they did not just convert him. They made him the second in command in the office. He became directly above the person tormenting him. When the power of the Holy Ghost is released, allow your enemies to fight. They become part of your asanas. The things you could not do consciously, they will help you do it unconsciously. And when they are done fighting, they will now remember that there is a law in the spirit. All things work together for good to them that love God, to them that are called according to his purpose. When the Holy Ghost empowers a man, his adversaries become his helpers. They have no choice. The fourth thing that happens to a man when the empowerment ministry of the Holy Ghost is at work is that God causes him to prosper. Sir, it's not only the work of God that prosper. The worker of God also prospers. Some people assume that if you are working for God, you should be a pauper. And they consider being a pauper as humility. That is a wicked wickedness from the pit of hell. <laughs> the person, what the worldly man shall prosper. You who is doing the main work of the kingdom, they want you to be helpless. So every time you come up, you wear one big trouser with sander, 
and then you're talking with one shirt that you have used for four years your belt part of the skin has peeled off and then you stand and say if god have taught your heart please if you if you love the work of god meanwhile before you make this announcement you will have to fast for seven days first that you may find favor with the people thank you for watching this very video we brought away we believed you were mightily blessed contained in this message are steps and principles you could apply to your life and get the desired result that is required to take you into the next level of your spiritual journey and walk with god once again thank you for watching this video don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel and most importantly share this video with friends family and the loved ones we would love to hear from you share your thoughts down below in the comment section and we'll see you in our next video